Hi friends, welcome to Technical Python YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Today I would like to explain how to draw the isometric drawing from orthographic drawing. Some of the project we will do the orthographic drawing for Python. In orthographic drawing, they will do the plan and the image. So from the plan and the image, we need to draw the Python isometric drawing. So how to will the draw the isometric? So we need to prepare grid sheet, isometric grid sheet. This sheet uh, based on the isometric projection, uh, like a 30 degree angle. If you want to make this sheet, uh, watch the video uh, in our channel. Okay, in this sheet, we will give the position north, south, and east west direction. Also, our pipeline is moving up and down. So, also up and down position. So, here we mark the all directions. So, let's see the orthographic drawing. In orthographic drawing, also they will give the directions. So, here they will give the direction north, this is a north. So, opposite direction south, east, west. Before we should understand what is the shown in plan. See, two, two pipes are shown. This is a uh, cross cross sectional view. So, this pipe will be a vertical, vertical position. Only we will see the ground. You can see the elevation. See, the elevation that pipe will be a vertical with, from a you know, nozzle. It's going to south and after that, this and it serves some rolling in between south and west. The line is going to south. And connected with N2 nozzle, and they have the some rolling sounds. So, nozzle N1, we are see the top view here. So, N1, uh, you see the for elevation N1 from the drawing 10 point elevation 10 point 500. Then, N 10 point 500 to 100, it line is coming down to elevation 9 point 200. So, here. This line is going to down. This is a simple means uh, elbow going to down. So elbow, you can see the elevation also. See here from nozzle line is going to down from the 10.500 elevation to 9.200 elevation. So up to here we know the uh, line routing. So line is coming to down and after that line is going to south. So here south up to here and after that you see here some symbols some line is changed uh, change the direction so in this case we need to refer the plan so here you see uh, line is going to uh, down then after that going to south so after up to here we are seen here up to after that line is uh, up, after that we need to refer the again plan so we need plan then here line is going to west so here west like this, we need to understand pipeline routing. North east, north south, east west position. Okay. Uh, so now let's see uh, how to draw the uh, drawing from orthographic drawing to isometric C. This isometric C. Uh, first, we will start it from N1 nozzle. N1 nozzle, we have the one vertical pipe. So we have to draw the vertical pipe. And here they have the nozzle in which direction? South direction. So north and south. So we have the nozzle with south direction. So project the nozzle. And they have the breakup flange. So give the flange. Okay. Then after that line is going to here one el only one elbow. Elbow going to south and down. Already I explained this elbow going to down. In elevation, you can see the elbow going to down. 
from 10.500 to 9.200. Here I am not giving uh, follow the uh, dimension. Just I will explain the line routing and how to draw the isometric line. Uh, so uh, just I will tell you the elevation 10.500 to 9.200. So then elbow and its elbow is down to 10 point elevation to 9.200. Okay. This is the elevation is 10.500. Then here elbow one more elbow and this elbow is down then going to south. So down then here south. Okay, so this elevation 10.500 and 9.200 up to here, up to here, this elbow, next elbow also, elbow to elbow joint only. So up to here we draw, we draw the uh, drawing is completed. Then after that line is uh, up to here only we can see the elevation. Then again we need to refer the plan. Then line is after this elbow, line is going to uh, some dimension, west side. Okay, so we have to draw the west side. this is right up to here we draw now okay then after that line is going to some rolling in top view we will see the rolling in top view there will be see the rolling this is a horizontal rolling in this type of rolling we just imagine this direction to here you see this is a north and the south this is west and east so our rolling is between the south and the west. So this is maybe a, uh, I think this is a 45 degree elbow only. Uh, so 45 degree elbow means uh, this both dimension will be sim similar. For example, this is a uh, one ton means this one also one ton amount will be there. Uh, this type of also you can imagine. Otherwise they will give the dimension for 30 degree they will give the uh, dimension. Uh, okay, here this is a 45 degree elbow, so both dimension will be same. Uh, so our uh, this pipe rolling between the uh, west and south. So one ten mm going to west, then after that one ten mm going to south. So in this rolling, I will draw the by daughter line. So here one ten mm going to west and one ton amount going to south okay so in between only that rolling coming so you can connect the rolling this is the horizontal rolling line is also you can match the lines then after that this 45 degree here 140 degree this line is going to south so here 45 degree so again here 45 degree line is going to south only so this is this is our direction so so line is going to south so then you see here some elbow modification elbow some maybe elevation changes some will be there so we need to in plan view we don't know details so we need to refer the elevation you see elevation after up to here we draw after that line changed means one elevation to next elevation from 45 degree both elbow with a 45 degree and lines are changed you see the dimension the end to nozzle elevation 10 meter so here lines are changed and in, in elevation we see the vertical roll in elevation whatever the rollings are coming that will be vertical rolling in top view it will be coming that will be horizontal rolling so elevation here changed uh, from uh, 9.2 meter to 10.10 10 meter the line is going to up so we need to up the line same here also same you have to imagine this is 45 degree mean this line this dimension vertical and horizontal dimension will be same for example uh, 150 mean this dimension also 150 in the drawing we are not give the dimension but if whatever the drawings in project they will mention the every dimension they will give the uh, orthographic drawing or general arrangement drawing uh, from there uh, you can uh, take the dimension 
okay here uh, just you ask him here 150 and 150 then after that line going to up so up to here we draw after that lines are going to 150 mm south then after that up so 150 mm south then 150 mm up so in between lines are going okay then directly here you see directly after the 45 degree flange so here 45 degree then directly it will connected with the one more end to nose so maybe here have the breaker flange so draw the flange and one more flange and connected with header 18 inch Okay, and here we have hatched the vertical rolling. So, vertical. I hope you are the understand the uh, isometric drawing, how to draw the isometric drawing from orthographic drawing. Uh, once again, we will uh, check the line routing and mark the joints. You see, uh, from here, this is the N1 nozzle. And this one N2 nozzle. So from the elbow to here flange. So here one joint. Then after that coming to down. So elbow here one joint. Then after that pipe spool. Then after that one more elbow. So here elbow. You see here continuously elbow. Then here one elbow is coming from down. Then after that line is going to uh, one more elbow. Uh, south and west. So you see, south, south, then west. One more. After that, here you can refer here uh, pipe spool. Then after that, 45 degree L. Then one more 45 degree L. And line is going to south. You see, south. Then after that, we need to refer the. This is a vertical rolling. So we need to refer the elevation. Here 45 degree elbow up. And between pipe spool and after that one more elbow and directly welded with the flange okay so like this you need to mark the uh, join uh, joints uh, from reference from ta reference taken from the orthographic way and they will give the also they will give the item number each item number for example elbow means item number one pipe item number two they will give the one more column they will material and everything so you can write the uh, all material POQ also here uh, like this bill of bill of materials like uh, serial number one two three like this then material and uh, uh, size and quantity for example serial number one five a or not C grade B. What are the they will give the uh, in GAD? Uh, same you can write it here and size 10 inch by uh, total of meters 14 meters. So you length you check the all lengths, then after that you can uh, calculate the overall uh, material uh, 10 inch by and you can write then after the elbow. So 90 degree how much then 43 elbow. 45 degree how many is size 10 inch so 10 inch here 45 degree elbow 1 2 3 4 so 4 numbers in 90 degree elbow we have 1 2 3 3 elbows only so 3 numbers like this what are the OLED uh, or some type of supports uh, like that you can mention the all VOK materials here and here uh, you can write your project name and the area code and the drawing number means the main master drawing number uh, sheet number and the PNDD reference number also you can write it and this type of GAD drawings are orthographic drawing you can easily 
line routing drawing made from this type of 